Storms are raging all around Where can I go to find hope? When the foundations of my life Seem like they are shaken And they're gonna crumble down When there's no way possible To make it out It's just impossible When there's no way out No way out of the valley Fear has its hold on my mind there's no peace when I have lost hope. I just have to remember that my God, my God is my source. like the whole world is crumbling down and I know a lot of you feel that way maybe some of you have businesses and it just feels like they're failing and there's no way that you can keep them going in the middle of all this your personal finances are all shot you know we're all waiting and hanging on for that stimulus money you know what I'm talking about we got all kinds of plans and, and needs for it but I want to tell you the government is not our source it has never been our source and it is not going to be the thing that's going to see us through this time. We've got to get our eyes on the one that can lift us up and hold us through the dark. Who can light up this darkness. Who can show us the way out of this valley. And lead us up to the top of the mountain. Where we can find his abundant his abundance for us. You know he tells us that he come to give us life abundant. And he is a source and we can count on him to keep his word his word is full of promises his word are full of his word is full of promises of things that he will do for us and he's no less of a God because we're going through a hard time I'm convinced that the harder the times the bigger the mountains the greater his blessings are going to be the greater his miracles are going to be and he's going to reach down he's going to take us by the hand and he's going to lead us out up out of this time and he's going to carry us on to the day that we see him and we become like him in a perfect place he's not only going to take care of us now but he's going to take care of us forever he is our source and he's going to be taking care grab a hold of his hand look to him look in his word count on his promises count on him to keep you he will see you through he's your father you're his child God is my source God my source he will supply all my needs I can find everything I need in him he is my father I am his child and I can't rest in his sweet peace God is my source. God is my 
your foundation I sometimes think I can build on there's others but if I build on sinking sand my house won't stand there's one who has been there oh and he'll be there he will be there all the way forever down through time and he can keep me I am his child and I go to him oh and he tells me he tells me in his word it's all gonna be all right there's no valley where he cannot go to lead me out there is no place I can go where he can keep me my God God is my source God is my source God is my source God is my precious you are to him and he will see you through this yes I know that God God is my source I want to read some things to you from God's word and these are promises that he has made not just my word for it but these are promises that he has made and I love Psalms 23, and I'm not going to quote it all here, but go back and read that, because it has such a promise. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. How much of, of your needs is he going to supply? All your needs. Psalms 121, 2 and 3. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved, and he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Psalm 31, 19. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee. 
before the sons of men. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Psalms 107.89 For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Is he able to take care of you? Yes. If you're his child, you're saved, and you've accepted salvation, you're doing your best to walk with him. Is he able to keep you? Yes. Will he keep you? Yes. He is your source. Don't look to the sink and sand. Don't look to the government for your source of help. You need to go to God and look to him. Ask him the way out of this valley. And he will lead you step by step. I remember a time when it seemed like that we were going to lose everything that we had. My husband and I was going through a really rough financial time. And God just led us step by step out of that valley. And he blessed us through it all. But we had to obey him. Every day we had to do what he said to do for it to work out. He is the greatest financial advisor you'll ever have. If you just listen to him and do what he says, he'll lead you out. You know, we would have some bill due and we were wondering what to pay. And it would come to us what to pay and the money would be there the next day to pay it with. Step by step, he led us through. He can lead you out of this time. He can lead you out of this valley. Just remember, God is your source.